there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's been like over a week. No, over a week. It's been like two two weeks since the last time I uh, I recorded one of these. And how do I? Is it Y? No. Y? Wait. That sets it for registered, right? 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 Yes, it is. Anyway, uh, it's been like a week since I recorded one of these. Um. Yeah, so welcome back. In the last episode, we beat everyone here. We caught our uh, next team member, uh, which is a Grimer by the name of Grim, Grim the Grimer. And uh, I already used one of my repels already. Um, and um, we beat Team Plasma that was here. But uh, in this episode, like I said in the last one, which was, again, like two weeks ago, we're going to go through and beat all the people down here in the sewer. But uh, anyway, there's uh, you guys are probably wondering, for the like two of you that are actually watching this still um why i haven't recorded or uploaded this in the past like two weeks and uh, the reason being that uh on my desktop which is what i'm playing this on right now um i had a why didn't i i guess i missed i don't know i wasn't paying attention because i'm trying to talk but anyway uh i had a free trial of adobe premiere which um for those of you who uh use sony vegas Using an inferior program, I've tried them both. Uh, Adobe Premiere is much better. Stick with Premiere. But uh, anyway, I was using a free trial, and um, you know, for like the month that that lasts, and uh, it was it was all good, it was all fun. But um, the free trial ran out, and um, I mean, I have technically I have an illegal version of uh, Premiere and Photoshop, which um, I have on my laptop, which is what I used to use. Um, but I didn't really want to, I didn't really want to use it because it takes a lot, it's a lot harder to edit things on there, first of all, but it's also Chinsino. Uh, let's go to, let's go to Shana. But, uh, it's also on top of being a lot harder to edit, it takes a lot longer to render. Um, also like the, I don't know, it's like, it's weird, it is like a weird, like, brightness to it. Like, even if I, like, turn down the brightness things, I can't really see things. I don't really know. It's just, it's just really weird. Um, I just don't like, like, doing, like, um, just don't like, uh, editing on there. And, uh, although, well, I mean, like, technically, I can still actually, well, I can't, like, do things and, like, play games and stuff while I'm rendering videos on my desktop. But I can, like, watch YouTube videos and other things of that sort. So, you know, it's better. Plus, it takes, um, what is it? The last episode, which I did record, um, which I did not record, which I did, uh, edit and render on my laptop, took me, took, took me about, it took me a lot longer to edit than it normally would have, than it would have on my desktop, and also took me about Four, four or five times as long to render than it would have on my desktop just because my desktop's a lot better than my laptop like I have like a I bought it like what two yeah I've had my laptop for about two years now um two years is it, is it a year is it two I don't really know I've had it for a while it was about like $700 when I bought it um it's good for it's pretty good for a laptop but um, it can't do, like, nearly as much stuff as this desktop can do, like, uh, if you guys can see this right now, my desktop, you can't see it, but I have two screens, one, like, over here, and then I have one over here, which is, like, where the game's at, and I totally bumped my mic there, I'm really sorry about that, but then, like, I have all, like, the recording stuff here, I've got, um, Audacity up, I've got Hot Pod Capture up, I've got the, uh, the webcam set up, and, uh, Running all these things on my laptop, I could, like, barely do it. Um, like, I could barely do that sort of thing on my, back on my laptop. Um, even with just, like, Audacity, the capturing, and, um, and Desmume running, I, like, could, I really couldn't even run Desmume very well. Um, which is, like, if you watch that what is it, Pokemon White 2, it's like, that, if you go back, like, one of the first things I uploaded on this, but, a uh, Pokemon White 2 upload thing, 
It was, uh, I didn't, it wasn't, like, good quality, really. Um, it was, I don't know. I didn't like it. Um, but I couldn't really, like, do that. I could only do that for about 20 minutes at a time, or else my laptop would, like, overheat, even though it's on, you know, I have it on a cooling pad. But, um, yeah, that just, that just really wasn't working out for me. Um, but, uh, now that I have the laptop, I can run, like, all this stuff. I could probably record this for, like, two hours and it'd be perfectly fine. Um, not that I'm going to do that, because that's, like, you know, crappy. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna take, uh, it's a long time to just be playing, playing Pokemon and just, like, you know, talking during it. But, um, yeah, definitely a lot better on this. We'll go to Swag Mortar for this. Swag Mortar is not getting, like, any screen time. He was in the first... Was he in the first... No, I didn't even... I haven't even sent him out yet. Uh, or sent her out yet, I should say. But, um... What was I talking about? Anyway, yeah, desktop vastly superior. Edits and renders... Edits easier, renders, like, four or five times as fast. Like, literally, like, a 30-minute video takes, like, 30 minutes to render on this. No joke. Way better. Um, but let's go this way. What do we have over here? Nothing. Okay, fantastic. But, um... What else? What else? Uh, let's repel. Um... So, yeah. Um... What was I even talking about? I don't even know. Anyway, I, I'll just... Wait, was that, did that say rare bone? What? Is that a rare bone? Rare bone! A bone that is extremely valuable for Pokemon archaeology. It be sold for a high price to shops. Why is it in the middle of a sewer? That makes zero sense. Z literally zero. Zip, zilch, z goose egg, none. Anyway, but um... What is it? I, I decided that uh, once my thing ran out, it's been like two weeks. I decided that I, you know, even though I can, you know... Pretty much guarantee I'm not going to make money off of YouTube, um, because you know it's you know hard to make money off of YouTube unless you're like legitimately entertaining, which I'm not. Um, as you can tell by watching this video, I'm not entertaining. Ah, uh, but um, I decided that uh, it is you know a hobby. It's something I enjoy doing, and of course he uses like a full restore or whatever the hell he just used. Uh, Hyper Potion or whatever the hell. I could've just killed him with Return, I should've just, just return and not wasted the PP on Dragon Rage anyway, but since it is like a hobby and people spend lots of money on their hobbies, um, I know my big hobby is like gaming, um, but I really don't spend a whole lot of money on that anymore. The last game I bought was Skyrim uh, on Steam. And I only bought that because it was 75% off on the Steam sale in, like, the beginning of January, the end of December. Um, so, it was, like, it was, like, $15 with all three DLCs, which, like, the three DLCs alone are $45, like, full price. Like, Dragonborn and, uh, what's the other one? Don Guard, Dragonborn and Don Guard are each twenty dollars, and then Hearthstone's only five dollars because it's like, you know, little tiny, little tiny baby thing. It's just like you get to you get to you know have houses and like you can have children and stuff and like a wife. I guess you could have a wife before, so I don't know why I'm going on about that. But um, yeah, that, that's like forty five dollars. By the way, I I already bought all these on the Xbox three sixty two. Um, I bought Skyrim. Well, I didn't buy it. I guess I got that for Christmas for that was sixty dollars at the time. Um, back when it first came out. Excuse me. Uh, I had to burp there. Uh, but then, I bought the DLCs. That's another $45. That's $105. And then I ended up just buying it on PC today. Or not today. A couple months ago during the Steam sale for like $15. So, what I had already spent $105 on, on the 360, I just spent $15 on... For a superior version on the compute on the PC, like way better deal. Plus, on the PC, uh, the whole like the main reason I bought it wasn't because I'm like, oh yeah, it's better on the computer. Pretty much entirely was I can download mods for this, and I have. I've downloaded like I have like 28 mods on right now. Uh, a few 
graphical mods. Um, what is it? The better blood, better blood things mod, whatever the hell it is, um, makes like blood spatters a lot better, and it like puts um, when you kill when you're like fighting enemies, like blood will get all over your like weapons and armor and stuff. And same with enemies, they'll like hit people, they'll like hit stuff, and blood will like get on them and stuff. But then there's other ones like um, I made some ones that'll make it more. I guess technically it'll, the word will be immersive. Um, I downloaded the Realistic Needs and Diseases mod, um, which is amazing. She just gave me something. I totally didn't even pay attention to what it was she just gave me. Um, I could probably just look in my bag and find out. But uh, yeah, that makes it so that you... So anyway, that Realistic Needs and Diseases mod. I don't even know why I'm talking about Skyrim anyway, but whatever. I don't care. It's, it's entertaining. I like Skyrim. Um, but uh, makes it so that you need to eat, drink, and sleep. And then, if you get diseases, they, like... Honestly, I don't even know. They, like, affect you more or something. I, I think this room has something to do with, like, something later in the game. I don't know. But, um, on top of that, I bought, uh... Bought. No, I didn't buy any mods. I'm not stupid. Why would you buy a mod? But, um, I downloaded the, um... The Frostfall mod. Which is basically... Uh, it makes the game so that you... Not you have to. Um, so that while you're, like, out in the wilderness... You get affected by, like, cold, and, like, I guess that's, like, the main thing, but, um, if it's, like, cold and snowy and windy, you pretty much have to, uh, find shelter. Why did I just spray a repel? There's no one, there's, there's no other things past here. Wow, oh, that's interesting. But uh, you, like, have to stop, find shelter, set up a campfire, and warm up, or else you're going to die. Like, you legit will die. Like, all your perks will be, like, messed up and stuff. And, um, I wonder if Pokemon are here, actually. Like, Petalil, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not gonna catch you, because I don't give a crap about you. But, um, yeah, you'll, like, freeze to death and stuff. Uh, also, like, you'll, what is it, like, you'll get affected by being wet. That might actually be a different mod, where you get affected by, um, being wet and stuff. But, um, if you're, like, if you're wet, it... I, I can't remember what the whole thing of, is with you being wet. Um, honestly. But I just want to get out of here. We finished everything we could do down here. Unless I'm, like, missing something. Um, I know there's stuff we could go further in, but we need Surf to do that. Uh, but what else do I have to do? I guess I could just go look through the city some more while I'm talking about random bullshit Skyrim. Um, next episode we're gonna definitely take on the gym leader. I could just go start fighting the gym now, but... Eh. Eh. Bye-bye. I love you. Hello. But, uh, download it's Other than that, download some, like, graphic mods. Um, two mods that I really like. The Immersive Weapons and Immersive Armors mod. I had a balls ton of armors and weapons, like... Uh, also done the Cloaks mod, which is really cool. That adds, like, a bunch of cloaks, capes, you know, those sort of things. It's really cool, but, um... There's, like, a ton of weapons you can, like, find and make, like, you can make, like, katanas and, like, nabachis, um, other Japanese swords that I don't know how to pronounce because I'm stupid, but, uh, this guy gave us TM-70 Flash, that's interesting, um, and then there's other things, like, there's war picks, which are really cool, there's, um, cutlasses, it's just, like, a really cool mod, and you can, like, find them and, like, you know find them and uh that craft them and stuff it's really cool and then there's like armors too and stuff like there's eye patches which uh i don't know i don't know why i really like the eye patches but i do but anyway enough about skyrim uh these guys are just being super shady over here i don't know why i'm talking to them again um yeah seriously why am i talking to them again get out of here um i thought there was like another person back there but i guess there's not um, I don't think, honestly, I don't think there's really much I can do. There might be some people I can battle in, no, 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 I'm just gonna go check out the gym. Um, I've only been, based on the amount of time it took me to set up, record, set up, like, me actually starting the episode, which was about three minutes, um, into the recording, so I'm, I've been recording for 17 minutes and, like, 15 seconds. Um, amount of time I'm gonna edit out. Uh, yeah, so 
I mean, we've only been doing this for about 14 minutes. The last episode was like 30 minutes long. I guess I can start this, but, uh, Hello! You're probably tired from wandering all over the crowded streets of Castelia City looking for Team Plasma and the Gym Leader. I'll give you this. Some fresh water that you're gonna give to your Pokémon and not you. Yeah. The theme of this gym is none other than cocoons. You head up toward- you head upwards by going inside the cocoons and traveling up the threads. The threads are definitely connected to Berg, eventually. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go through, uh, a few of this. We'll probably battle, like, two, maybe three trainers, depending on how long it takes. Um, but, uh, yeah. But since I ended up actually- since I'm actually paying for Premiere, I'm probably just gonna end up, like, recording, like, a lot of things I do. Like, I've been playing Smite a balls ton lately, like, a lot. I'll probably end up just, like, recording, like, every time I play Smite, just, like, recording it and, like, uploading some highlights, um, from it, because, I mean, most of the time I play it, I usually only play it with, like, a friend or, like, a couple friends of mine, but, um, I don't know, I've had some, I've had some really good games and I've had some really bad games, um, you know, that's just how it goes. At least for me. But, um, Burmy, let's go to Swag Mortar. I don't know why I don't have Swag Mortar up front. He's a fire type. He's got Flame Burst. Gonna take this gym down super easily. But, um, yeah. I don't know. I might, um, uh, I might record some Skyrim. Some Skyrim. I'd have to, like, start over, uh, my character. But, um, I might download, like, the alternate, um, what's it called? The alternate, uh, the alternate start. Which makes it so that, you know, you start differently, and it, supposedly it's supposed to go a lot faster. And then, um, I, uh, I might also download, like, a, um, like, um, what's it called? Like a, uh, what is it? Thing you play as. Race. Like a race mod. Wow, that just wrecked me. But I got the flame body off, so apparently it's all good in the neighborhood with that. But, uh, let's just send Grim the Grimer out take this thing down excuse me and frustration should do the trick harden's not gonna help you because even if i do one hp damage with this it's still gonna get taken out by the burn um but uh yeah see look didn't do like anything but taken out by the burn and now grim's gonna get a ton of ton of experience points um but uh yeah there's definitely quite a few race modifications. I wanted to get one that was like a dog, because, you know, there's like cats, and uh, personally, the Khajiit is my favorite race to play as in Skyrim. I don't care what you say, Khajiit is best race. Khajiit's the best race. Argonian, definitely my second best, and Wood Elf, my, it's my second best, my second favorite, and Wood Elf, my third favorite. All the rest are just kind of like, eh, whatever. The human race is just like, eh, I could play that in like any game that doesn't have cool things like being a cat or a lizard or an elf you know um i don't know they, they just more or less work best towards my playstyle of the game because i just i don't know i like being like a sneaky like like a sneaky sneaky little kitty cat you know being a khajiit being a sneaky little uh sneaky little cheeky kitty cat that's, uh, that's, that's always fun for me. Huh, but I might download, like, another race. I might, like, just start up a playthrough of that and just do it for fun because I have Premiere now. So, I mean, like, there's no reason really not to at this point, not to, like, record myself doing, like, whatever. But, um, yeah, that smite. Um, I want to, I've been watching, um, a lot of... CS Counter-Strike uh, Global Offensive CSGO because, um, what's his face? Kutra, who you guys probably know, he's like a, definitely like a famous YouTuber. He's like, you know, he's part of the creatures and stuff. I started like watching his, um, his case openings when he started doing that because like it was entertaining and, uh, I don't know, I just started like, after watching those, I just started watching him actually, like, playing through the game. And it just looks really fun. I really like shooters, so I might download that, um, and play that. But I don't really know, because it just seems like something I'd only really want to do with a friend. And none of my friends play it. 
Um, my friend, uh, my f one of my friends, uh, has built a desktop, but it's not really, like, set up. He doesn't really, I don't know, it's, like, weird. He hasn't really, like, got it all set up quite yet, and it's gonna be a while, so, I don't know, there's that. But then again, then there's, like, other games, like, uh, blah, 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 Gary's Mod, you know. All that fun, all the fun things you do in the air, prop hunt, trouble in terrorist town, and all that fun stuff. I don't have any friends, but I mean, like, there's just, like, public servers and stuff. And then there's, like, other games that I just, like, have, like, on Xbox and stuff. Um, like, I downloaded Guacamelee a long time ago when that was free on Xbox Live. And, um, my friend told me to download it because he's like, this game is amazing. And uh, I downloaded it, and I didn't, like, I just didn't play it. Because the whole reason he really wanted me to download it be was because there's, like, a co-op mode. And he's like, yeah, we can play co-op. But, um, apparently we found out after uh, I downloaded it that co-op only works in split-screen for whatever reason. I don't know, this is, like, this is a game that's on, like, the Xbox One. So, this is an age in which, like, if you have, co like, split-screen multiplayer isn't much of a thing really anymore. Like, nearly as much as, like, online multiplayer is, so I don't know why they would only have split-screen multiplayer and no online multiplayer, but Mud Bomb, that seems like a good move. 65 power. User launches a hard-packed Mud Ball to attack. It may also lower the target's accuracy. Ah, uh, crap. So I guess we'll get rid of Disable, although I really like Disable, because I know it's probably going to come in handy. Mud Bomb is just is such a good move. And Carablast is the last thing. I should be able to, should be able to take this thing out in one flame burst. Uh, never mind, I won't be able to because it used Endure. That's how you guys, Guacamelee, then there's just like, I don't know, there's just a bunch of other games that I have you know, that are fun that I just want to, like, record. Um, like, I wanted to do... I wanted to, um, do Halo, the Master Chief Collection, like, just do those. Um, but, um... Well, we used to endure again, seriously? Wow. But, um, I wanted to play through that, but... I don't know, I... Me and, uh, me and my friend who I've been play, who we, like, started playing through it, which kind of, like, stop playing through it and we keep meaning to like get around to uh continuing and we have not even beaten the uh <laughs> we haven't even beaten the first um the first halo campaign yet which is kind of sad but um especially since my favorite halo game is halo 2 and that's the one that's gotten like the big overhaul remasters type thing and uh, i didn't even i haven't even played the multiplayer at all because i downloaded it or i downloaded it. i bought it when it first came out and, like, the multiplayer was just broken to shit, and I forgot to move my way to the butt of the party! I'm stupid. But, uh, yeah, the multiplayer is just broken to hell. So, uh, I never ended up downloading, or I never ended up really playing it, and I still haven't. Um, but, yeah, that game. Really want to play through that. Yeah. Really want to. Probably should. But then there's, like, other things I want to do, like... There's other games that are, like like, older games that I've never played, like, I'm talking, like, uh, like, really old, like, I never played, uh, Mega Drain, ooh, 40 power, not as powerful as Leaf Tornado, uh, Leaf Seed, but Mega Drain, ah, uh, we'll just go without Mega Drain for now, but, uh, I, anyway, I've always, uh, I, I, not always, but, um, ever since I've found out about, uh, Chrono Trigger, I don't know why, like, that game just seems, like, really interesting to me, so, I don't know, I feel like I should probably just, like, download that. I know it's on, um, it's on the Wii, or, not on the Wii, it's, um, I, f I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, anyway, I could just, like, download an emulator, um, and, you know, play that game, because it just looked really interesting, and, like, other Super Nintendo games, like, um, 
Final Fantasy never played that. Uh, Mario... What is it? What's that? Our, uh, Super Mario RPG. Wow, I just got wrecked by that Beedro. But Super Mario RPG. My friend uh, told me about that. But, um... Yeah. A lot of games. A lot of games. That I already own. Uh, also, what is it? The... The, uh, the Borderlands... Um, what's my doodle? The Borderlands... Uh, the Handsome Edition. Handsome Collection. Whatever it's called. We need to do that. I haven't gotten around... Honestly, like... I... Uh, what is it? I started, like, recording. You know? Uh, if you uh, know anything... If you know anything... If, you, uh, if you've been watching my videos for the past, like, you know, 17 years, whatever, however long ago I started uploading pre-sequel, like, I did that and I just sort of stopped. That was literally, like, I haven't even played the game at all. Like, it's not like I just stopped recording it. I just haven't gotten around to playing it just because I don't really, like, I don't feel like playing, like, hooking up my 360. I don't know. Just, I haven't really felt like it takes some time. I mean, it doesn't really take time, it's just like, it's just slightly inconvenient to the point where I'm like, I could just play something else. But once it comes out on the, uh, on the one, definitely gonna play that, because, uh, love, love Borderlands. Little disappointed that Borderlands 1 wasn't included in, uh, in the Handsome Collection, because Borderlands 1 is my favorite. Um, I feel like Borderlands 2 definitely had, like, a better, more well-set-up, like, story and stuff. But I just like Borderlands, the first Borderlands, better. I just, I don't know. It was just funner for me. I don't know why. I just, like, I, I, I just liked it better. But, uh, that thing just used double team, so that's freaking awesome. Um, I wasn't planning on this being as long as it is going to be. But this guy and his ridiculous amount of Pokemon is, and they're just annoyingness. Please hit Aqua Jet, even though he's like super evasive. Thank you, thank you, man. Such annoying crap. But uh, fourteen bitch is gonna go down. So that means all the experience from that is gonna go to Green. Actually, did I get the experience before he died? I don't really know. I probably did. But uh, Butterfree versus Winston. Um, this thing's probably not strong enough to take me out anyway, but two Dragon Rages or a Dragon Rage and a, uh, yeah, I guess it's probably not gonna do enough to take me out, but a Dragon, oh my god, I live on one, crap, but a Dragon Rage and a uh, Return to take it out, but I'll just use tra two Dragon Rages, and this thing, this thing better have been the last thing on this guy's team or else <laughs> I'm gonna be in trouble. God dang it, Mothin, okay, Mothin. I can handle this. Can I not? Can ah, crap. Bag, what do I have? HP, PP, restore. Uh, fresh water. Use. Winston, please don't have- he's, This thing's totally got bug bite, and it's totally gonna do a crap ton of damage to me. Hidden power. Please be like, hidden power water, or something stupid like that, so that it's not effective. Okay, it's neutrally effective. That's not bad. Dragon Rage. And use protect. Hopefully this thing doesn't have a bug type move or a flying type move. But uh yeah, I just <laughs> I just wanna get done with this. Man. Man, I don't even know. But uh I don't even know what I was talking about before I got into that rant. But uh let's just take out this muffin. And it's gonna kill me with this. There's no way in hell I can live. I'm at four health. The question is, can I take this thing down with Grim, who is now like almost equal level with the rest of the team because of all that experience he's been hogging off of everybody but uh air cutter is gonna probably hurt but i do have plus special defense so frustration how much are you gonna do not quite enough don't have a healing item don't yes he doesn't okay cool that is gg mr uh bug catcher or whatever this guy was an artist or whatever i don't remember but, uh, that's it for this. Finally, I know that was the last one. Harlequin, Harlequin Gary. I always forget how to pronounce that. Anyway, uh, in the next episode, we're going to be taking on the gym leader. Um, we're gonna beat him because literally I have nothing else to do but fight, like, probably, like, three, maybe four, like, you know, the, uh, the little gym minions. 
and then the gym leader so i should definitely be able to take him down um so yeah i'll probably do some grinding before then but uh i'll see you guys all then and uh that's all i gotta say so uh good bye